Don't cry. So today is Monday, April 6th, it's 5.03. Um, I was supposed to be induced on Thursday if Madison decided not to come before her time. Um, but after the appointment today, my doctor said that there's not enough amniotic fluid in, my, uh, in the sac and that the placenta has too much calcium and so they said that I actually have to go tonight to the hospital for the induction and the hospital that we were supposed to go to um, doesn't have enough staff and so we're being transferred to another hospital thankfully because of COVID I guess there's one positive thing there's no traffic typically there'd be a lot of traffic so we're on our way. Um, I'm feeling excited and nervous and anxious and um, scared of the pain, but I'm excited to meet our daughter and can't believe it's happening. because if I have to do a c-section then he can't come in so hopefully everything works out but good thing I showered before my appointment I'm all clean
So right now it's 11.15. We arrived at the hospital around 6.20 and I was an emotional wreck because it was just I wasn't expecting to come to the hospital today and it's a different hospital than we had visited. So that was tough for me. Plus the room that we're in is tiny, tiny, like it's so small and I thought I'd be short when I first saw it, I was like, oh, no problem. And then they had told us that we have to stay in this room until you start pushing. But because I'm being induced, labor can take a long time. So I'm like, oh my gosh, we could be in this room for like three days. But I'm praying that it happens overnight, that I'll just respond to the medicine really quickly and have contractions and that my water will break and that the baby Madison will come out and it'll all be beautiful but at the same time I need to be careful with my expectations so I don't go crazy but anyways he's fascinated by the news so that's the update for now so I remember when we arrived at the hospital we were trying to figure out the plan on what induction was going to look like for me and I had a lot of fears because I was afraid that my induction was gonna lead to a C-section because oftentimes that happens and so I was really worried about that happening. So once we arrived, we got set up, nurses came in and did their thing and then um, they informed us that they were gonna give me a medication called, how do you spell it? Cytotec. And that that medication is used for helping your cervix soften and become effaced, which like it thins out. And so I looked it up online. I said, oh, do you mind holding on one second? So I looked it up online and it said it wasn't FDA approved and that it can cause your uterus to rupture and all these other things. So I started worrying and freaking out and I'm like, oh, I don't want that. Let's just start the Pitocin. And um, one of my friend's mom is a midwife and she said, go ahead and do this cytotec because if you do the Pitocin first, it's gonna be a lot longer, it's gonna be more painful, you're not gonna be ready, and that most likely will lead to a C-section. You wanna do the cytotec first. So I said, okay. So we did that, we did two doses overnight, and then in the morning at 10.40, the doctors came in, checked everything, they said, finally, my cervix, his dilated so it opened up to about four centimeters so they were ready to do the the pitocin and from like 10 40 to 1 i was enduring all of the contractions But around one, I realized, okay, I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. I don't know if my water is gonna break naturally. I don't know if I'm gonna be on Pitocin for two days having control. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Like, and I can't, I'm exhausted, but if I lay in the bed, I'm in pain, so I have to stay on my birthing ball. I started thinking maybe I should get the epidural because I was in pain and I didn't know how long it was gonna last and the thought of like not having any energy to push was just terrifying. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get the epidural and it 
a, a surprise. I didn't even hurt at all. because when the doctors finally told me I'm ready to go into the labor room to start pushing, that was about, it's about six hours and a half of labor. And they brought my bed into the labor room and it was fast, like everyone was walking around really fast, getting set up really fast, getting everything ready. Yep. Um, no, I don't feel that. I feel pressure a little bit, but not so much consistent pressure. How's there one more? is like okay go ahead and then I'm like okay and he's in the restroom and <laughs> the nurses are telling me to start pushing and I'm like my husband's in the restroom what if the baby comes out while my husband's in the restroom that's gonna be horrible so I'm like trying to push but I'm like ah oh, Zach hurry up I can't be like Zach come I can't say anything thank thank God it was short you came out really fast my goodness is as I was pushing, I see the nurse, the nurse, she's standing on my left hand near my left leg. And then the midwife who's delivering my baby turns around, or she turns around and grabs scissors and turns back. <laughs> and I already know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I told him I didn't want, I didn't want it, yeah. Everything is happening so fast. There's like no time for me to say, excuse me, what are you doing? Do you mind not doing that? Or why are you, why are you making that decision? It's just like. <laughs> but luckily I didn't feel anything. <laughs>
important is she's healthy and mom is healthy, right? You healthy? She's healthy. It's important. If you like this video, please click thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to be alerted when our new videos come out.